I'm Pat Gunn, and we are playing Skyrim. And we are making our way through Skuldafen to the uh, entryway that has been built by Altuin into uh, into the afterlife of Sovngarde, where he's been hanging around and uh, about and eating the souls of the great warriors of uh, of Skyrim. Okay, so I think we're reasonably near the end of, of this area. And unfortunately, we don't have our follower with us, since she wasn't able to come with us uh, for the dragon ride that was needed to make our way here. like somebody is shooting at me. So, we will keep on moving. And at this point, we have so much stuff with us that we're not really going to be looting much in the way of bodies at this point. Kind of weird to think. So this place has presumably not seen a lot of action for a long time, being an isolated entry for uh, Alduin into an afterlife, rather than really being a place where civilization has ever reached. Although the backstory of the dungeons in general, sometimes it's unclear how they work out. Okay. Okay, and what are we doing in here? Oh, here's a treasure chest that I never spotted before. It's not that interesting though. Um, I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more light in here. Oh, right, so that's not actually an exit. Presumably somewhere around here there there is a way to open that grate. Is it over here? Uh, I don't see it here. Um, maybe over here? Aha! That seems likely. Yep, so I'm guessing that that what's supposed to be is that this this is supposed to be so old that it exists back to the first era when there were dragon priests and all that other fun stuff. Wow, that was terrible aim on behalf of this. Whoa. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to hit you. Fancy kill. Very fancy kill. Oh, um... Hmm, do I already have the claw that I need for here? No, I need a diamond claw from somewhere. Where would a diamond claw be? Well, oftentimes... Usually, the claws are in the same room, or at least they fairly often are. Diamond claw. Maybe the... Oh, sweet. The Death Overlord has the diamond claw, and let us see what it looks like. Diamond claw has what looks like a fox, a moth, and a dragon. Okay. Dragon is already in... Oh, wait. I did not... Well, hooey. Okay, and this should do it. Step to the side just in case, as usual. Sounds good. And we will 
head into this dangerous looking area. Dead bodies. And a word wall. Well, word wall looks promising. Let's see what, what word is written on it. I mean, I realize that it would no doubt be, uh, be kind of tricky to carve such a thing. And so it would be utterly, wow, so old corpses. I'm not sure how old those must be. If they really are as old as the game's myth, uh, myths uh, suggest, then they should have long since crumbled to death. Uh, oh well. Uh, I hate that potion. Really hate that potion. Okay, and this is taking me back outside. So, I do intend to probably misbehave a little bit in Sovngarde. You'll see what I mean. Misbehave might be the wrong word, but I'm going to venture well off the beaten path, and if I can remember how to do it, I'm going to go visit the canals there. Because there, there are a set of hidden canals in, uh, in Sovngarde that are kind of a fun place to visit, at least partly because I think very few people have actually ever, uh, have ever visited there. Okay, that is the end of that guy. Let's make sure that... Okay, can get... Oh. But yeah, basically we're on top of the temple that we were beneath before. And you can keep on exploring this area, but there's not a lot exciting around here. So I'm just gonna head up here and be like, why, hello there. But but I do prefer to do it with a friend. So... So yeah, that's definitely not the smartest uh, foe that you'll ever meet. And I have just stepped into the afterlife. So, I have a few things to do while I'm here. But yes, I have entered the realm of the dead. Now, I do regret playing with the music off, because the music for this area is really great. But again, I don't want the uh, the YouTube content uh, minders to decide to claim this video. So, and apparently Sovngarde has flowers and all sorts of other stuff that you can pick and bring back to the realm of the living if you want to. And it has a lot of fog. And it's also kind of chilly. Really quite a lot of fog. Turn back, traveler. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Near Giant's Gap, in the then we stood. But I never knew if night's end brought Alduin his can you lead the way to where Shore's Hall wait? 
I saw it fair when first I tried. Shores, I've. Hurry, before Alduin your life devours. Bring word. I'll try to hold to your hopeful purpose. Quickly, before this encompassing fog once more snares me in the world leader's net. So the reason why I, I don't worry too much about finding my way there is, again, I have the magic compass. Whoa, hello. Uh, I wonder if I can actually shout him down. Interesting. Although I'm sure that I can't beat him now. Oh, is he going to land? No, maybe he doesn't have to land. Okay, yeah, so he's not landing anywhere useful. So, we will keep on going and following the the plot arrow. And you can see that there is a word wall that has had a boulder fall onto it. So not all that useful because we can't read the words. So let's keep on moving. And that guy, he just does not give up. But this looks like. Do you know the way? I'm weary and lost. Yeah, we're practically there. I mean, I can understand being nervous about this fog, but sheesh, it's not that bad. Chafed, but sure restrained a wrathful onslaught. Perhaps no by what right do you request entry? Hmm. Well, I've tried the other do things. Not mistake the night shrouded. Your doom already binds you to your dark mystery. Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge. I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Okay, so I am now fighting this guy. I will use unrelenting force if I can manage to knock him off a cliff, but I'm not sure I can. No. Okay, he is not pushable that way. And he does some pretty good damage. I could just summon a buddy, except I don't have the, the magic code to do so. Great. So. You fought well. I find you well. Okay. The living has entered here. May Shore's favor follow you. But this really is a pretty cool place. And you can see we are traveling over a gigantic bridge. And, a, uh, and then to a waterfall drops way, way down there. And this place is just kind of hovering uh, uh, over it on a floating rock. So Alduin's wandering around out there eating souls that haven't quite made their way to this hall. And meanwhile, all, all of the souls that have been sent to this afterlife, I think they're hanging out inside. Seek ye 
food or song unending? Fighting, Welcome, Dragon Ball. Fellowship and Our door has stood empty Find since welcome. Alduin first set his soul snare here. By short, oh, that's Iskrimor. And ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormleth, the fearless, glad hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy handed warrior. Feldir, the old, far seeing and grim. A cup dragonborn, to death and glory, the three await oh, So that your looks a lot. So that looks like one of uh, the robes. So maybe he was a greybeard uh, in life, because that definitely looks like a greybeard piece of gear. Seek ye food or song unending? Fighting, drinking, fellowship, and war. Dragonborn, have you come to cleanse Sovereign Guard at long last of Alduin's foul? Gigantic things of alcohol. Wow. Glory. That really is quite a lot. And those are the guys who are interested in. At long last. Oh, actually, I wonder if those were the guys who we saw in the past when we used the uh, the Elder Scroll. Yeah, so everything really looks pretty good scripted. They just don't have the weapon stuff quite right. So yeah, this is a cool pad. Oh. Seek ye food or song on ending. Fighting, drinking, worship and boasting. Find welcome here. But if you look outside, you just see an endless kind of uh, endless kind of uh, orangey uh, sky. By shore's command, we curb our wrath. <clears throat> I long to fight that foul worm, but force command we curb our wrath. Alduin escaped us long ago. To oh. For a hundred lifetimes, my heart has burned for revenge on Alduin Tool made. Okay, well, let's go take care of him. So that is a one-time area. You never get to go back in there again. Once you leave, but that's okay. It's neat that they just had to put it in great thematically. Um, incidentally, never ever ever try and slip down the waterfall because you will fall and you will die. So it's tempting. I've tried to survive that many times. It never worked out. Okay. Alduin escaped us long ago. We cannot fight the foe in this mist. So, what we're going to do is use the guys. Combine our shouts. Yo. Ah, yeah, looking good. It's, it's a very pretty area. You'll notice that the cooldown cool down for that shout was exactly the right amount of time to let me uh, shout almost immediately afterwards.
unfortunately, that is, we never get to learn that Van Wil Riek uh, sh uh, shout. Not that it's very useful for a character. His strength is failing. Once more and his might will be broken. His Okay, and now we actually have the task of fighting him. So we definitely want to have Dragonrend. Um, we're going to try and keep him on the ground. So a Dramor Lord in the left hand and a Dragonbone Sword in the right seems pretty reasonable. Okay, so we want we want to rent him as soon as we can get a good shot. Okay. Where is he gonna land? Okay. Drop uh, Dramor Lord. Start chopping. And there we go. That's the right, uh, that's the advantage of having a really good smithing skill. means that you can make yourself very nice dragon uh, dragon weapons. And up he went. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last and cleansed his southern guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again, glad friendship, that you join the blessed feasting. Oh, hail, hail the dragonborn! dragonborn. Hail, hail her with great, great praise. praise! Okay. So now... We've, uh... We've wrapped up, uh, the dragon quest pretty much. And we can speak with him whenever we're ready to return to Mundus. Even here, where heroes throng, few can Our match this mighty deed. I look for you, friend. The gods when themselves land. must envy us. Well the honor will be ours. It's unclear whether the, the hero ever will return to Savangard because he has a dragon soul rather than a human soul. But now you can walk around and easily see all the other people who are hanging out here. And if you went ahead with the war quest, then uh, then you'll either see uh, Rika or you'll see Ulfric here. Now this is where I'm going to save because I'm going to do something a little bit weird. So, Salengard, it is just this valley. Uh, in that temple, or at least that's where people are supposed to be. The game does not stop you from leaving that area. You would think that they would have put up uh, borders and uh, prevented you from going behind, uh, beyond them. You would think that. But instead, if you want to, you can... Oh, come on. I've done this before. I'm hoping that they didn't patch this ability out. But if you're careful, you can make your way out of the valley and into some very strange lands. Okay, the game is letting me go forward again. And I'm up but it seems to still be preventing me from walking 
forward. Let's see. And you can do this on either side. Okay, where am I now? Okay, I'm in some pretty tricky places. Let's hope that I can avoid falling to my death. This is why I'm glad that I saved, because certainly if you do this wrong... Actually, I'm curious if you can still do this at all. Okay, look, looking good again. Yeah, definitely looking good. Yeah, so the key is, so there is that gigantic valley that separates the uh, the hull of the dead from uh, from the valley. And I think they did make at least a moderate effort to stop you from slipping out from the mountains. That probably was what I uh, spotted uh, before when I was trying to scale them directly. But if you move towards the edge of the valley, the invisible and passable walls are not actually present. And you can work your way slowly outside of um, the boundaries of where you're supposed to be. You can see, yeah, we, we've definitely made it a good ways outside of um, outside of the limits of where we were. And you can climb. And my destination, if I can remember how to get there and if I can actually make it there, is a set of canals. It's also an area where I re regret not buying a, a certain spell from from the same guy who, who uh, from whom I bought the render the space time continual uh, or continuum spell. The spell I want actually is a line of sight teleport. You basically aim somewhere, and it will attempt to put you down wherever the the line extends from your hands to hitting the next solid object. And that can save you a lot of time. If you want to climb a mountain, you just need to kind of aim right and cast a spell at, uh, at some point on the mountain, and you'll land roughly at that point. Okay, well in any, any case, with enough patience, you can climb your, uh, yourself in this area, or uh, climb your, your way further through this area. And initially, you'll be in areas where I believe that they only put them in in order to fulfill the, the need for a line of sight. Okay, so we're actually back closer to where we want to be. That's the, the Hall of the Dead, and down there is the valley in which the dead live. There are mountains that are east, and then there are areas that are west. And the canals lie west. So we are on our way to the canals of Sovngarde. And you, you, you will note that I saved before I set off on this quest, because I don't believe it's possible to make your way back from the canals of Sovngarde uh, to the main areas of Sovngarde. And there is a chance that I will fall to my death or the game will crash before I make it there. I think it's over that the the mountain or the set of uh, mountains that compose the horizon over uh, that way. But we will see and hopefully not see it crash. And I'm being careful not to fall down into the valleys there because 
there's no guarantee that I would be able to make my way back out again. Okay, moving forward, you notice that we're not seeing a lot in the distance. Well, I guess we're still seeing a few things. Okay, and another feature of this is that because these areas were not really meant to be walked in, there's a lot of missing detail. And I'm not sure how much of the, of the detail that's here is, was actually filled in by some, uh, some piece of software, or it seems kind of unlikely that a designer would bother to spend time with this area, unless it's a pet project. On the other hand, there are canals that are out here. So let's keep on moving and see if we can make our way to them. And again, when you're climbing mountains, there's generally a seam that you can find. And if you can just stay near that seam, provided that the mountain doesn't change shape, you have a, a, top to the, uh, a path to the top of whatever piece of rock you're trying to, uh, to scale. Okay. I think we've... Okay, we're still headed due west. That is good. Let's see if... How we're doing. Nearing the top of this. Okay. Now the scary part is imagining what happens if dead uh, if dead um, if dead folk do this. They could very easily be lost way out here, uh, alone, far from when they from where they entered Sovngarde, and with really very little hope of ever seeing another person again. Okay, those look like the canals down there, and that looks like a tower. And the canals make this kind of maze-like structure. Let's see if I can safely make my way down there. The problem is that the land keeps on shifting, and it is easy to fall, so I'm gonna save the game again. Different save, you noticed. And see if I can slip down there without falling to a horrible death. This is not a promising looking, whoa, whoa, a little bit of vertigo here. Okay, survive that, that is good. We're gonna close our wounds. Oh, okay, we're sliding down, this is not looking good. I think we just probably, oh, no. Okay, well, we're not dying, that's good. So maybe we can make our way down to the canals. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna hedge my bets here. And I really don't wanna die. So I decided to temporarily turn off the, the, uh, the physics of the game. I'm, I'm just gonna head, uh, head right into the canal area. Yes, you can make your way down there, uh, but it's very easy to screw it up, and uh, I think I, I would rather show you the canals than potentially show you uh, a falling death. Okay, so now I am over the canals, uh, I think, yeah. So these are the canals, those are the mountains of Sovngarde, and the canals are very, very big. I don't, if you like, you can go into the water. The, wa the, uh, the water goes fairly far down before you, uh, before you reach the bottom, and then it just moves nicely uh, back up onto the other side. Now, some of the canals you can walk out, uh, out of, some of them are too steep. I'm hoping that this one isn't too steep. There's a lot of trial and error here. This one is too steep, so I'm going to again turn off the physics engine so that I can make my way back out of the canal. Again, you should be able to handle all this 
yourself if you're careful. The reason I'm cheating is because I don't want to show you lots and lots of loading and reloading of the game. I just think it's it's much more interesting to uh, to show you uh, the result. But yes, you can make your way through the canals uh, without using cheat codes. You can descend using the means that I showed you. There, you might actually be able to just walk uh, around this whole border from the gap between uh, the the Hall of the Dead and the uh, the Valley of so uh, Sovngarde. But yes, go ahead, have fun, explore the area. Uh, I should note that if you try and walk too far beyond the, the, the towers over there that are in the very corners of the canal areas, the game will crash. And you can see that here I'm slowly ma making my way to the end of the mountains. Uh, the featureless plane that's on the other side of the valley between the Hall of the Dead and Sovngarde, I believe that corresponds with this. So if you walk too far in that direction, the game will crash. Uh, so there are a lot of ways to randomly die. There are a lot of ways to randomly crash. Um, and there are a lot of neat adventures that you can have out here. They're very boring adventures, though. Like, let me show you what happens if you try and summon something. Oh, uh, never mind. If you make your way far enough out here, then you can't summon uh, anything but I have not wandered far enough outside of the normal game world for that to be a concern. But yes, these are the canals of, of Sovngarde. You probably have never seen them uh, before, at least in, uh, in another Let's Play. They're not a particularly useful place, but if you ever, for some bizarre reason find that the Skyrim theology happens to be correct. And if you ever get tired of hanging around uh, the dead that you meet out there, this is some place where you might consider uh, visiting. And maybe just find a few friends, uh, band together for this, uh, for this trip. Make sure they're friends who you wouldn't mind spending a lot of time alone with. But yeah, head out here. Maybe I'll see you there. But it, I wouldn't bet on it because video game theologies, well, theologies themselves are kind of silly to bet on, but video game theologies, even less so, or I mean, even uh, less of a good bet. But still. So at this point, I've shown you this, that is what I want to do. I will return back to the normal parts of Sovngarde and we will proceed onwards. By which I mean we're going to return to the realm of Mundus, which is the physical real world of, uh, of Skyrim. Where the uh, I guess the planet, or is Tamriel a continent or a planet? Can't remember. Anyhow, we're going to do a new save that's a new new save, and then we are going to go and talk to this guardian of the hall dude, who will return us to the realm of the living. Hey dude! Ready to rejoin the living. Just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. No. So he shouts at you and returns you to the realm of the living. So that's the dragon quest line uh, done. Which for some is the main uh, quest line of the game. There's certainly a lot of other things to do and I'm not done with this uh, series yet. 
but it's uh, it is the the main quest line in Skyrim. It's actually a surprisingly short quest line if you really want to dash through it. It won't uh, won't take you a lot of time. So it is done. Alduin Dilon, the eldest, is no more. He who came before all others and has always been. Happy? No. I am not happy. Zech Mahi lost Ondul Bormahu. Alduin was once the crown of our father Akatosh's creation. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance. So you'll notice that at this point, this word wall is uh, is much uh, damaged from when it was when we saw it in the past. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. Perhaps, at least, it will continue to exist. And, as you told me, but I forget myself, you have won a mighty... Savor your triumph, Dovakin. Goran, I feel your... Oh, and guys, I should probably let you know that I have brought somebody... I can bring somebody to the party who you have not seen for a long time. Head up and hang out with your brothers for a while. Fare thee well, Parthenax. So there are a lot of dragons here. I'm not sure if I could bring many of them to fight me if I tried, but I do not intend to do so because I'm actually rather fond of, uh, of dragons because, as I said, they look like the guanas. So. The other things I need to do are... Well, actually, I have a lot of stuff with me. But I'm going to try and uh, make progress towards the Civil War uh, quest line. I guess I should say make progress on the Civil War uh, quest line. Which in this case means clearing out a fort. Okay, somebody is running towards us. Not sure who it is, but... Bandits. Well, they didn't last long. Okay, so we're heading northwest, which means turning... Or northeast, rather. Just roughly this way. Yeah, so doing the quests in this order can feel a little bit uh, anti uh, anticlimactic in that we've solved dealing with an existential threat towards uh, most life and now we're just going to help with the war. But so it goes. As we'll learn this. 
then just place on the map while we happen to be here. Is that this paw thing? I thought it was this paw thing. Maybe it's not. No, it's not the paw. And how far off course are we going? Uh, moderately, but we're right on the border of this. Let's see what it is. It looks like a camp of some sort. Oh, it's a storm cloud camp. Well, that's funny. Okay. Dealing with it. Hey. Next Imperial I see is dead. Oh, really? Oh, and there is a dragon. But that also looks like where my camp is. So the camp, uh, the dragon might be harassing my camp. So, anyhow, pro tip for uh, storm cloaks. Elder Dragon. Okay, that is one less dragon. Let's heal up. But yeah, those Dongar, they, they do not quit. Okay, and I am very close to not having the room to carry more things, so I might actually want to get a Dramore Lord to help me. Okay, so... Serana go. Okay, so dragon bone sword again. Really would be nice if I knew where Serrano was. I would probably give her some stuff to carry. It looks like a gold vein. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So and um, the soldiers all saw the dead. Oh, there you are. I'm wondering where you are. Sure. Uh, you can have Blade of Falkreath, two Daedric Swords of the Inferno. Sure, why not? You can have a Blade Sword, and uh, some Ebony Gear. Oh, sure, why not? You can have all this stuff. Okay, and here we are at the Stormcloak camp, or I'm sorry, at the uh, the um, Imperial camp. And where is Rika? There is Rika. Howdy. The general and I have our. I need you to deliver, but first. 
the night gate and see if you can one way or another, but don't do anything. Well, soldier, can you do this? Good. Make it happen, soldier. Good. So, we now have our next uh, quest for the Empire, but I'm going to take care of that in, a, uh, in my next Let's Play. I'm Pat Gunn. This has been a Let's Play of Skyrim.